what's up guys I need to drop off and get me a little little go-go juice in the bike before I take off again I think I think this car is just so cool actually it is kind of cool looking fill me up some gas <clears throat> I love it. It's only 11 bucks to fill my bike up. Of course I want that receipt. Give me that. Magazine, 14 carat, solid gold. Look at what I got. I'm good. All right. Now that's how you get offered gold. I usually uh, get my gold at a jewelry store. Not some random dude trying to sell me stuff on the street. I'm good. Ooh, and it is hot. 106. That's what it says right there. But you know what? It feels like it. Ah. You know what? It still feels like it. Even with all this sweet, sweet breeze and this, you know, circulation of air around me, it still feels like 106 degrees. That's all it is. It's like a, I'm, I'm in a hair dryer right now. Ridiculous. Ugh. Face is all sweaty. But really, I'm gonna complain about sweating? I live in Texas. Duh. This isn't a, a phenomenon. This is something that happens on a daily basis, okay? <laughs> I'm complaining about it. Right. Well, I'm gonna put some new lights on my bike. Now, if anybody who follows me on Instagram and you saw that when I had made that Batman uh, key wedge, I call it a key wedge, you know, that thingy down there. Never made that. Uh, I turned my bike on so you could see the lights. And I have red lights. Originally, of course, nothing. So, uh, yeah, I like red. And I, red and black is my favorite combination. My bike is black, so it's going to get red lights. All my bikes have had red lights, except for, well, let me see. My sport bike has blue lights, and I still have that. But, I bought some super bright LED white lights. I haven't tried the white lights, so uh, I'm gonna go with the white lights and see what it looks like. I mean, I got some chrome on the engine. It'll reflect off of that real nice. Maybe I'll show you guys how to install that or something. I don't know. I don't know if I'll make a video on that or not. What? That's how small this area is. It says Taqueria, that sign over there. But underneath it, it says Burgers, American food. <laughs> What's the rest of the trains at? The boxcars are gone. They're usually like cool tankers. There's a little bit. Can't really see too much. Oh, this is not very good. There's usually like the tank cars chilling out over there. And it just has mad graffiti work on it. Just some really skillful hands went through to a defacing property. <laughs> but it looks so cool, man. Those are some big trucks. I don't know about any, anyone else, but we got some big old trucks here. Check out those trucks being washed. I mean, the dude is standing on his tire just to get the soap off. I think of the dude in the red Ford. That's also a massive truck. That's the norm. That's total norm for here. Look, there's a white one. That white truck over there. Big old Ford. We also have sweet Corvettes, like that. More, uh, more trucks than anything, though, in Texas. Man, let's see how many big trucks that we can find. Watch there not be any more because I said that. Dang it. Oh, look at that big truck. Yeah, check that bad boy out. That thing is massive. I wasn't kidding around. Just slam on your brakes. When you just slam out, just yeah, yeah. Yeah, slamming on the brakes. What are you looking at? My bike. All right. Now 
let's ride with VBeast on his quest of, hey, check it out. That's a really big truck. No, let me get back to my quest of untraveled territory. G-Force, what? Oh my goodness, did you see that? That's getting a spam drop. G-Force. Collision Center. I think that's the... That's the same bike that lives in my complex, I bet. Ooh, some sweet vets, that's for sure. Now let's try to get really close. And... And... There you go. You got spam dropped, son. Chevy Aveo, yeah. Check out that little piece of car. Ooh, scary. Where's my GPS sending me? And the back roads. I like back roads. They are very nice. You know, somebody's smoking pot. I smelled it. <laughs> somebody's smoking the marijuana. Before I smelt that, I was going to say, you know, Texas doesn't have, like, all this awesome scenery but man they do have some back roads that are cool i mean for cruising they're cool who has a house like on this road the heck anyways they do have some cool roads just to cruise on you know people have a lot of land here so it's cool just to see what they got going on usually a bunch of nice people anyway so might as well enjoy the ride. That's what I'm doing. What the heck is up with all these palm trees? This is very interesting. They must grow them, maybe? They do grow them. Nothing but palm trees. Wow. Hey, check it out. We actually grow palm trees in Texas. Who would have known? Oh, cool. It's a palm tree farm. This has been another random weekday video by your very own V-Beast. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Most of all, have a V-Beast day.